Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Peak Pro Diamond Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, send a like, and I reply to all those comments. Let's get started with today's topic. How many of us out there want to develop and improve our social skills? I would think we all do. We all can improve. Well, you know what? There are some ways to do it. Let's discuss. Well, social skills, such as communication, empathy, interpersonal and listening skills, are really beneficial, not just to our personal life, but also our professional lives. In the workplace, those skills can be essential aspects for staff interaction, planning, and collaboration. So, what social skills are and how to apply them and why they're so important is critical to understand. Social skills are competencies that facilitate communication and interaction with others in any environment. Social skills can be essential when interacting with peers, preparing for business meeting, or managing your projects. Some examples, because there are mixtures of different skill sets, are very important, especially where you work. For example, using effective communications important in careers that require regular contact with clients or customers. Interesting. Even if your role is not a customer-facing position, you need to communicate with your team, supervisors, or other staff in order to do the job effectively. The most important social skills to have are the following. Empathy, because it plays a vital part in connecting with others and identifying common interests. Empathy allows us to genuinely understand somebody else's feelings, thoughts, and ideas. Having empathy can be beneficial no matter where you are, because when you better understand others' perspectives, respect their ideas, and feel comfortable providing your own insight, you're much more likely to be collaborative, effective, and successful. Well, Interpersonal skills, knowing how to interact with others effectively can help us engage better in discussions to identify and interpret social cues, like reading somebody's mood to find ways to understand that personality and help us develop better relationships. Remember, better relationships in turn offer a better life. Well, your intra personal skills are your capabilities of understanding your own thoughts, emotions, and ideas. Developing our intrapersonal skills may include using appropriate ways to express our ideas, knowing when to share our thoughts in professional and personal situations, and being able to set certain boundaries and goals for ourselves. Communication skills. Effective communication skills, such as active listening, written and nonverbal skills, are essential in personal and professional lives. If we interact with customers, family members, anyone actually, we might learn and develop active listening skills to help solve others' problems. So how do you improve? How do we improve our social skills? Well, we now know that they can benefit every aspect of our life. And they're important because they can help us communicate more effectively and efficiently. We can build, maintain, and grow more meaningful relationships, period. Well, to develop those skills, you got to engage with others. You got to find ways to further conversations with friends, family, and coworkers, and practice the conversation skills by asking open-ended questions. Maybe set a small goal for ourselves to offer at least one strategy, idea, or small change we're going to make. Start in small ways. Start developing your social skills in small ways by engaging with people that we interact with on a daily basis. If you're out shopping, maybe instead of just one word answers to the checkout person, you start talking. Lengthen conversations with acquaintances. Practice conversation skills with long-distance relatives we speak less to. A lot of different ways. 
You can ask open-ended questions. By asking open-ended questions, it's a good way to get others talking. And it can be helped by giving us more insights and understanding into the people around us, our friends, our family, our colleagues. You need to observe other people's social skills. That's right. Developing our skills is to observe others and take note of the nonverbal communication people are using. We must remember to practice maintaining eye contact during conversations. Consider setting a goal to make and hold eye contact for three to five seconds each time you engage with someone. Develop our listening skills. Equally as important to be able to share our thoughts is be an active listener. Practice our skills by maintaining eye contact, using nonverbal communication, like nodding when we agree, and even asking clarifying questions during the conversation when hearing something we misunderstand. You see, it's critical that we become genuine and learn to compliment people freely. Complimenting others is a great way to demonstrate friendliness and appreciation of others. It can act as an opening to a larger conversation. Remember though, be sincere because a compliment that is disingenuous can work against us. Well, find resources, use them. Find social skills resources, they're available out there. And remember to keep up with current events because staying up to date with current trends, even the news, can help with topics talking to others. So. You understand, we understand that there's personal social skills, there's workplace social skills. You know what? They're very related. There's a broad set of abilities we need to have, and we should possibly even highlight areas of the skill sets that we want to learn more. Communication, teamwork, collaboration, whatever it is. You see, social skills are actually marketable. That's right. If you have the right social skills, you're going to write a great cover letter for your resume. If you have the best social skills, you're going to have a wonderful job interview. And if you've emphasized the things at your job interview, guess what you're going to do because you've shown your interviewer your interpersonal and communication skills. You're going to get a better job and you're going to be in a better situation in your life. You see, developing social skills it's not about just shaking somebody's hand firmly and looking them in the eye like I was taught when I was a young man. Nope. Much more complicated than that. The good news is we all put our pants on one leg at a time. We all walk one foot in front of the other. We're all similar, if not the same. So everybody's going through this. Everybody's gone through this. And it's just a matter of degrees. Social skills... You don't just wake up one morning and have them, okay? Social skills are learned and developed. That's right. You don't pop out as an infant and all of a sudden have social skills. In fact, you pop out as an infant and all you're doing is crying and complaining. So guess what? Social skills, from the beginning of our life to the very end, to the last breath we take, I promise you, Social skills are important. This has been the Real Senior Stoner talking about how we can improve our social skills, how we can be better at it. Well, I truly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, send a like, and I reply to all the comments, and the dab train is rolling with my Puffco Peak Pro. Cheers, everyone, and have a wonderful day out there. Happy. Cheers. Very tasty. Puffco Peak Pro. Have a great day, everybody. And thanks for joining the Real Senior Stoner. Cheers out there.